In this video, I'm going to highlight the reports which are commonly used in the community to show clients information. These are the client-facing reports. Also, I'll show you about making a specific custom report and also how to schedule reports. The antivirus and backup reports are perfect to show the clients on a weekly basis or monthly basis that all their antivirus checks and backups have been successful. Simply run this on the specific client or all clients over the selected time that you wish. You can also filter and show only certain devices. And you can also choose the different outputs you want to use, whether it's PDF, Excel, CSV, rich text format, or HTML. Once you've selected these, click Generate Report, and we now have a graph view of the backup summary, for an example. The availability summary is great for showing the clients that you have maximized the amount of uptime of their servers. Generate that report, and this shows that my selected server has had 100% uptime, has not been disconnected from Navrisk. The client health summary is perfect for a daily basis. This is a traffic light type of report, which shows a current overview of the situation of every one of their devices and the current status of each component, from antivirus, availability, backup, the critical events, disk space, Windows patching, and performance. Depending on if the client wants this amount of information, you can also choose the executive summary, which is an overall view of all the different components in Navrisk. You can have your own little message printed at the beginning of the report, and this report includes things like an asset count of your managed devices, the support activity, disk space summary, device performance, device availability, also your backup and antivirus detail, patch management, even your scheduled job activity. You also have remote control activity, and then you also have summary versions below that as well. The patch summary report is handy to show your clients that you're keeping their patching up to date. This shows a nice graph explaining which patches are missing from which devices, and it separates these between servers and workstations. The remote control activity report can show you all the times that you've currently remote controlled one of the sites. This allows the client to see all the different work you've been doing on a computer. And the scheduled job summary shows them all the different scheduled jobs that you've been running across your clients breaks it down by device, different job, and explains how the job went. Now some of your clients might be a bit picky about what they see in their reports. So we can create a custom report by simply going to custom and designing a new custom report. In here we can give it a name and then select the different components that we'd like to add. For instance, Andrew would like to see an asset summary, an antivirus detail, a backup detail, a patch summary, and a disk space detail. Save that report and now you can simply click on here to run that report as well. Now with all of these great and powerful reports, you may want to automate the generation and email of these reports to your clients or even to yourself. To do this, go to New Job, set up the details. In this example I've created below, we have a weekly backup summary report that runs every Friday at 3 p.m. and automatically sends itself to Cashflow and Adam at KSports. Click Save and that will repeatedly generate that report and send it automatically to that client once a week.